Welcome back to another Soul Calibur 6 Soul Chronicle playthrough. We are now on Keelix Soul Chronicle. I'm having a little bit of fun here, learning the history and seeing characters go into what seems to be a retelling of Soul Calibur 2. But anyway, uh, that's his hidden record. This is where his story begins, Edge Master's Teaching. I wonder if uh, this is where it's going to play, um, it's going to show my character from Livery of Souls. Edge Master's Teachings. Keelik, one. Let's go. There was once a martial arts temple known as Ling Shan Strange that Keelik had its own thing, even though he was in the main story most of the time. It would take only one night for it to be reduced to ruins. The sole survivor was a man named Keelik. Keelik. Training under the old man known as Edge Master, he worked hard learning secret techniques for resisting the cursed sword Soul Edge. In preparation for one final battle. Watch him just get this one fight because he was just mostly in uh, the main story. You have become better at controlling yourself. Thank you. However, you still have much to this, learn. I'm sensing a whole bunch of de deja vu here. What more can I do? Balance is crucial. If evil pushes, pull. <laughs> and if it pulls, push. By maintaining balance, yeah. you can achieve peace. Push pull. Even with the evil inside. It's a good workout split. You must master that technique to its utmost limit. Then you can simply be you. Without the assistance of Devapara Yuga. Yes, Master. Killik, continue to train with all your might. You only get what you put in. If you give everything to your training, it will give you everything you see. That's good to know. Yes, master. Yes, master. Let me guess. There's no fight. Let me guess. That's the end of Killick's story. That'd be hilarious, but it'd also be upsetting. Okay, good. Fighting the evil within, with Edge Master's words carved into his mind, Killick continued with his grueling training resume. Even after he had begun his journey, some time while training, he would reflect upon the lessons his master had taught him. Keep your eye on the enemy before you while controlling the evil within you. Is that really possible? No, it's not. The Devapara Yuga is the only thing that keeps the evil within me at bay. So what will happen when I lose its support? <laughs> That's simple. That could happen at any time without warning. When it comes down to it, if I go in too hard, I could lose control. That's what she said. Maybe that is what Master was trying to say. We are on to chapter three. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Training with Maxi. With Maxi joining him on his journey, Killick remembered what it was like to live alongside someone for the first time in a long t while. To Killick, training every day came as natural to him as breathing, but Maxi looked to Killick as if he'd never seen anything like it. That's fine if Killick doesn't get any fights. He was in the main story for so long. <laughs> Meditating again? Yeah, it's part of my daily routine. <laughs> Never the hard worker. Perhaps it's not enough. I have to be able to control myself without Devapara Yuga. Sure, you've got a load to carry, but still. I just feel like I'm on the verge of something. Well, maybe you should test your skills in a real fight for a change. You don't mind? Of course not. But be warned, I don't plan on losing. All right, let's go, Maxi. Sparring time with Pirate Elvis. Da -da -dun 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 Whoa, baby. <laughs> that was stupid. Sorry. Come on, give me Maxi. Yeah, restrictions, no soul charges. That's fine. Gaelic is also a good uh, character to use in um, his style, to use in uh, Libria of Souls. But, um,. Like I said, if I were you, I would just use, um, Raphael. Oh, suck it. 
No, what, what? Raphael's, because, um... Raphael is... Unless you want to just mash with Maxi's style, Raphael's style is very easy to spam. As Maxi's over here beating the crap out of me. Which is funny, because we use Keelik so much, and here I am losing to Maxi. Gotcha. Whoosh! I love Kilix's design in this. How do you do the uh, the other thing there? Watch out! I'll kick him. That was sick. That was cool too. Okay, he keeps doing it. That's good to know. So I can't use. I can use this. Oh god, Maxi, I'm sorry. I did like no damage. Oh, I. I tried to go for it again just to get the special KO. You see, that was an armor break. Too, but. Like I said, I, I'm guessing the armor break still happened. It's funny, they, they changed the pronunciation of his name many times. From. Because I recall in uh, Soul Calibur 2, it was pronounced Keelik, but now it's pronounced Killik. Even in Soul Calibur 4, it's Keelik. I believe. Watch uh, some hardcore Soul Calibur fan correct me like they've been doing in my previous videos. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Looking good. Thanks. Your attacks feel a little rough, though. Oh. I see. What could I be doing wrong? Well, attacking's not about pushing against your opponent all the time. You fight as if you're not coming out of it alive. So I'm pushing too much? I see. Yeah. If you've got something you want to protect, you've all got to survive. Hey, are you even listening? No. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just wondering how your hair stays like that. You need to think about not thinking too much. Do you remember me, you freak? Sorry. Again. I love Soul Calibur 2 and its corny dialogue. Training with shung -Wa. Ever since shung -Wa had joined the expedition, Gillick was able to practice the Ling Shang Shu fighting style. As he sparred with her, he couldn't help but be reminded of Shung Ling, and his feelings grew ever more complicated. So this is what's all happening in between the main story. So this is the Ling Shang Su fighting style. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not too familiar with swordsmanship, but... Okay, how about we have a little practice fight? My pleasure. Thanks. Just kidding. It's good to have Shung Wa back too, and technically fully Keelik, because uh, Zeba and the other character, yeah, no. Zeba is alright, just because he's Goku, but other than that, I miss Shung Wa's. Just kidding! Forgive me, Shung Wa! <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, lady! Sorry, not sorry. Try blocking. <laughs> try blocking. Is that what he said? Try blocking Shung Wa. How did I do the uh. Try blocking Shung Wa. How did I do the uh. How did I do the uh. Damn move there that I. Hit her in the cooch. That's an old Keelik move. In fact, I think also Sung Mina had that. That wasn't it. No, I don't want to do the try blocking Shung Wa BS. Oh, there it is. I think that was it. I'll take it. The hell? No, no, no. I don't want to try block. What the hell? Okay. Try blocking Shung Wa. Huh, strange. Whatever, I'll just beat the piss out of her. Poke her to death. Oh, 
Are they having a special dialogue against each other? Because I heard that try blocking Sheng Hua and how are you doing against this? Or something like that. Oh, can you handle this? Oh! Beat her down! Try blocking Sheng Hua! Haha! Ring outs are disabled too, aren't they? Oh, I'm gonna break your guard, bitch. I'm gonna break it. Break. Stop sidestepping me, damn it! I'm trying to make content! Sorry for yelling. Alright. Oh! Gotcha. Oh, good night. Oh, she dead. Yeah, what he said. Oh, ja, ma, my scar, my face. Oh, I lost. Yeah. Still, I think I know how to handle you. You mean I'm leaving myself open? How so? No, I didn't mean it like that. Oh. It's just you seem to hold back when you had the opportunity to strike. Were you going easy on me because I'm a girl? No, it's because you're a woman. Okay. So even though the balance between push and pull is important, sometimes I need to push. I need to be able to make that judgment. I'm gonna make this work. A strong resolve makes for one whom people can rely upon. Yeah. Killick, are you even listening to me? <laughs> but still. Hello? Bonk him on the head. Come on, Maxie, tell him. Once he's lost in thought, he's gone. But that's just, just real. Only a little pouty face. He just has that much focus. You see her little pouty face? If only he had someone to look after him, right? Hold on, it's not like that. <laughs> well, Maxie can see what's going on. Do what you want, because a pirate is free, Maxie. The trio venture forth. With the cooperation of Maxi, I'm sorry. Yeah, Maxi and Chung Wah, Killick's training was beginning to produce results. However, it was still unclear whether he could use his abilities confidentially in a real battle. Tension welled in his gut as the fight he had been training for grew nearer. What's up, lizard man? Whoa, more lizard freaks? <sighs> These things are so creepy. Don't fret. You can do this. Oh, cool. We get to fight jobbers. I love fighting lizard men jobbers. Ah, oh, so much fun. Fighting jobbers, that is. You know why? Because it makes me feel like a god. Let's go. No soul charges. This strange naked lizard man using, I want to say, that's Sung Mina. No, it's actually Keelik, it looks like. Well, let's go again, buddy. It looks like Sung Mina's, though. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, that is Sung Mina, I think. Oh my god, there's ring... Oh no, I gotta be careful. Here I am just going at him willy-nilly, but there's ring outs. Oh boy. Let's go, you Astaroth fat lizard bastard. Hit him. I'm gonna hit him in the groin. Oh! Oh! He couldn't block the unblock goal. Uh, yeah! Did it. I won. It may not look like it, but I was the victor there. Believe it or not. This one's blue! Or teal, or whatever the hell that color is for this fella. Damn it, Keelik. Damn it, Keelik. Stupid, stupid Lizard Man. So Lizard Man... Is he even a character in this? I don't think he is. You have to actually create a lizard man. And I think they get, um... Damn, I tried to finish him off with the, uh... Critical Edge. I think they get their, uh... 
specific, like, a couple moves dedicated to them. Because I remember one doing, like, a grabbing with his mouth and doing, like, a uh, gator death roll move to me in Librio Souls. The final battle draws near. I can feel it. Like it's right in my neck. Don't worry. Your training's been paying off lately, right? Yes, but who knows what will happen now that it matters. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. You're not alone here. Can't have more than two portraits on screen at a time. I'm grateful. I think we make a great team. Damn right we do. No one stands a chance against us. Okay, let's go. Whatever lies ahead, stay strong. Okay, we, we can actually fit an entire thing. Yeah, I was thinking that might be the end, because like I said, uh... <laughs> Keelik has a huge the names stuff. of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, these guys are just a bunch of misfits, this trio. But I'm not complaining. I, I've always loved that trio of Keelik, Maxi, and Shang Ma. Keelik does not have anything else special simply because Keelik has, um,. Well, like I said, he's here. He's in the main story with shang and Maxi. Actually, he's in the main story a lot. See? Look at that. Grow. No, you only get to place Keelix, shang and Maxi in the main story. Anyway, Keelix Soul Chronicle is done. Next up is none other than Maxi and his crew. My name is Clinker Roth. And thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for some more. Soul Calibur 6 Soul Chronicles.